Welcome back here to The Hill on News Nation. So the first full week of arguments wrapping up today in Donald Trump's New York trial. There are new numbers out today on how Americans actually view this case. According to a CNN poll, 34 percent of American voters say that Trump is being treated more leniently by the criminal justice system than compared to any other criminal defendant. However, 34 percent also say he's being treated more harshly. 19 percent say they're just not sure. 13 percent say he's being treated the same as everyone else. All right, so I saw those numbers and I said, well, so that's 34, 34, and if you add up the other 34, it's basically a third, a third, a third, right? And how do our politics break down in this country? Mm -hmm. yeah. Basically a third, third, third Democrat, a third Republican, give or take, and then a third independent or something else. So I thought to myself, all right, what's, what are independents? How do independents view it? And, and here's how they view it. Um, more leniently among independents, 33 percent say Trump's being treated more leniently. 27% say he's being uh, treated more harshly. 17% say the same as any other criminal defendant. What can we make of that? I think there are a couple of things. One, I think the 34-34 number you've seen versus lenient and not, I, that, is, that is a reflection of this country yeah. and where we are yeah. right now and 100%. all the polling you're seeing. So on, so on that, more leniently, 60% of uh, Democrats feel well, that he's being treated more leniently, yeah. more harshly. 67% of Republicans feel he's being treated more harshly. Exactly. These, th this is a closely divided nation. You're just seeing that reflected in the polling, and you're seeing that reflected in this trial as well. You continue to hear Republicans talk about lawfare, about how they think that this is an unjust system against Donald Trump. That's exactly what's being reflected in this polling, and I think that's being reflected in the national polling you're seeing right now. Who's up, who's down? The, races are mo the race is moving right now in terms of who's got the lead. Some has Trump up. Some has Biden up. This is exactly what we're going to be seeing all the way to November, whether it's about the trial or the general election. What, Janae, what do you make about those in the middle? Not, not necessarily in the middle. Well, yeah, I guess politically in the middle, but for, for independents or essentially non-Democrats and Republicans. Well, I think for folks in the middle, they're watching this play out, right? They're watching kind of day by day of this trial to see, like, what, what different pieces of this are coming together, what motions are being made how Trump is behaving in all of this. And I think they're kind of making their decision in that way. I think that... Do you think for, people are following, like, motion by motion or...? Well, not motion or, by motion, but I think that they're getting the highlights, right? They're getting right. the highlights from their local news source and how this is being framed in whatever media they're consuming. I think that's an important lens to add to this. But I think largely folks see that, you know, Donald Trump's on trial, the judicial system needs to take it, run its course, and they probably have a bit of a mixed opinion, and it will depend on the outcomes here. You know what I think? Mm -hmm. that this no, is, I don't, but I'd like to hear. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is week one, and if this really lasts eight more weeks, people are going to be so sick and tired of this trial. You think so? I think people are sick of it right now. Well, I think, you know, until, like, we start having porn stars walk out to the microphones and addressing the media, talking about what happened in the bedroom, then people might be very Do you think that's going to happen? Yes. So it uh, I think it's obviously different when we hear from Stormy Daniels, yeah. you know, Michael Cohen, Karen McDougal, mm -hmm. right, if they, if, if, and, if slash when they take the stand. Yes, that's, but that's, the thing yeah. the thing that points to me in those polls is that there really aren't true independents. People lean. Some of them are independent. The don't knows are just not paying attention. But people lean one way or the other. They might they might be persuadable one way or the other, but they're not really independent anymore. Not a lot. Was this a good week for Donald Trump or a bad one? I think the Supreme Court case is good because it looks like it's going back it's to the punted. lower case. Yeah. Good, good. But someone did say to me yesterday, I'm sorry. No, go on. Someone did say to me yesterday that if it does go to the lower courts, it will be back in D.C. and they can start a trial. Yes. In starting in September in the D.C. courts, they will, laying out all the January they, 6th They will have to do a hearing what? on whether That you're, or not, like, reliving January 6th starting in September. They're going to have to do a hearing to determine whether or not it was an official act, and that is a very bad for him. Good, yeah. or, good or bad week for Trump? I think this is an overall bad week for him. I think that, like, the reality of the matter is um, the more details that are coming out, the more that you see this progressing, I think people are starting to have kind of a sour opinion here. Yep. But folks are bored to that point. I think until this gets really salacious and we start seeing some steamy details, I think folks will largely start to tune out. I think overall this is a pretty good week for him, especially when you look at the Supreme Court case, especially when you look at multiple times a day, Donald Trump is standing in front of a camera right. pontificating exactly mm. about what he wants to talk about. And most networks will cut to carrying that for so, him. So and that's a win that, for But him. I think that's bad for him. Yeah. No, I think that's bad for him. So to, to, that, to that point, voter. though, for a second, just think, keep in mind what happened today. Joe Biden went on um, Howard Stern, Howard Stern yep. radio. Some of those clips still aren't even out. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump went before hour. the cameras, and that's blasted. Yeah, yeah look. 
There's only one resource you can't get back in a campaign, that is time. Mm -hmm. He is wasting a lot of time sitting in that courtroom. He hasn't done a rally. Why isn't he campaigning on Wednesday? Is he too tired? Is, it too, is he getting too old to do this anymore? I think that's probably what it is. Why isn't he that's what I'm going to say. I mean, that's a question for his team, but he is out there right now. He actually did go up to the mics yesterday and talk about the economy. He's out there. He is hitting political points sometimes when he gets he up to those. He brought up Charlottesville things. yesterday. But Fun. I, <laughs> hey, let me tell you, you want to have the dog in the fight. At least he's in the fight. He's taking it right to Joe Biden, who tries to continue to use he's that as the reason why he's in the courtroom and not campaigning. And, and cameras yeah. carry it all, all the, the time. Trails. Look at us still talking still about talking it. Still talking about it here. Yeah. 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 The, the guy is a criminal defendant. <laughs> he, you know, was he treated more leniently? Of course he was. I'd be in jail if I said half of those things to a judge. Ooh, uh -uh. Hmm. Well, then, but then the other argument is should the case have been brought to begin with? Yeah, exactly. At the, at the federal level, they decided not to. Anyways, we can keep yes. going on and on. But thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.